In this video, we're going to create our API connector to AWS, and we're using Fog to do it. So the first thing we need to do is create an initializer file for Fog. So go into config and go into your initializers directory. What the initializers directory does is it gives you the ability to load up files that will boot up whenever the server starts. So whenever the application starts, all of these files will be called in. So you have things like assets and uh, cookie serializers and MIME types and all of these different things. And that's the, they go inside this initializers directory. We also want our connection with AWS to be made available to us right at the very beginning of when our app starts. So I'm gonna create a new file here and we're just gonna call it fog.rb. And here, this is where we're going to create our connection. So I'm going to say uh, carrier wave dot configure. And I'm going to set up a block. And the block uh, iterator variable I'm going to give is going to be config. It could be anything we wanted, but uh, config's what I typically use. And then I do config dot fog credentials and this is a built-in uh, method so I'm going to say credentials and set this equal to an object so inside this hash I'm going to pass in a provider and the provider is going to be AWS and AWS is a string comma and the next one is going to be the AWS access key ID so AWS access key ID and I'm gonna give one more tab just so we have plenty of room and here this is where we're going to be using the uh, the Figaro gem that we already built in so I don't have to actually type in the access key ID it's made available with the ENV uh, keyword or lookup and then all I have to do and I could type it in but I already have typed this so if I go into my application YAML file and uh, take in all of the different items that uh, that I have here and actually I need to update this I made an example one for you guys uh, but I got the name switched up so uh, the real one is application YAML uh, but I created one called underscore example that you guys could look at since this one's not going to be available uh, I do need to switch that up to get it working uh, but I'll do that after the video um, so access key ID is going to be here it has to be a string so I'm gonna pass it in as a string and then comma and then the next one is AWS and this one's gonna be secret access key and I'm gonna move everything over just because I like having everything lined up and one neat thing you can do with sublime uh, if you want to select multiple places just hit command and then select the other spot you want to move and then you can do it at one time which saves some time uh, and now we're going to do env and inside of br the brackets and inside of parentheses we're going to take in the secret access key paste that in and that is all we need inside of that uh, inside of that hash and now we're going to take in the uh, the other things like the AWS bucket and then some other things like that. For the first one I'm going to do config because we're still inside of the config block. Uh, we need a fog directory and for that all that is is our bucket and if you look back at our uh, our YAML file you can see we can actually use AWS bucket and it's going to automatically know what uh, type of environment we're in which is nice so uh, you don't need a com after that one uh, next one is just going to be config fog underscore public and I'm going to line these up as well set this equal to false because we don't want to make this available to everybody 
and that is our block. So this is all set up properly. Uh, you can copy and paste it because what you're going to be entering in should pretty much be the exact same thing. And remember this is in the initializers directory uh, called fog.rb. After uh, you've done that, we are very close to being able to uploading the view and actually getting this working.